Joja. You seen her just at the base of the tree? Yeah. Oh, watch. That's it. I was doing it. You see the other one here? I don't know. There you go. That's a double. Thank God. That's what I call the happy hunter right there. Well, what a hunt we had. Me, Gerald, father in law, and William was up for a partridge hunt. And, uh, you know, William was after getting uh, a few uh, spruce partridges now, but. He got his first primary gun uh, this hunt, and he got four more after that. So he got five primary gun and a spruce partridge. So he was really excited. Yeah, and I cooked up uh, a couple of those yesterday for dinner, and we had some left over again today for dinner. And he was out yesterday, done a little smelt fishing with his friend. And I figured he might want those for, for supper, but he wants some smoked. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to cure him a little bit and put him in the smoker tomorrow. I never really had time today. I had to do some maintenance on the line tractor there. Uh, we got another storm sitting in or well he's sat in i guess uh yeah got a bit of snow down there now so i'm gonna clear that and uh and when i come back i'm going to show you an inuit drum me and another fellow we've done a little barter i won't say what i gave from my, on my end but i received the inuit drum so i'll show you that and i also want to introduce you to another youtube channel so stay tuned guys Yeah, I got about half it done, and uh, the cable bus that hoises uh, the attachment. So I'm gonna replace this cable here now and finish it off. And uh, yeah, relax. I'm just gonna tighten it in there a little more. I need to tighten it up a little more, and I think I'm going to need a little more practice as well. <laughs> yeah, so this is a, an Inuit drum that uh, Ross Flowers made for, for me. And like I mentioned earlier, we, we done a little barter. And I'm really happy with this because I always wanted one. Uh, this one is 22 inches diameter. Uh, traditionally, they would be made from uh, hide, like seal skin or whatever, but... Uh, you know, I'm not actually sure what type of material that is, but uh, it's pretty common now uh, to see drums made out of this this fabric here. Yeah, and these are tightening in a little more. You know, we get that real good sound. And actually, actually, I got one right here. That, uh, I don't know. The wife actually made this one. This is hers. And I guess he's slack. Oh yeah, hear that? Really slack, see? So, just gotta tighten out that fabric again. I'm, I'm tightening it a little bit, just see if we get a difference of sound here. Just hauling the fabric from an under the base tight under. A little better already, but what a difference, eh? Yeah, that one is even tighter than that one there now. And this one. That was 22 inch diameter, and this one here is about 18 inches. And yeah, so we got a his and hers. And like I said, Ross Flowers from Hopedale made this one. And if you're watching Ross, I'm going to break you up a little bit because without a doubt, Ross Flowers is the most talented Inuit artist and craft person that I know. You know, Besides making like a lot of traditional things like uh, Inuit drums and seal skin whips and stuff like that. He made a seal skin kayak and he uh, carves uh, soapstone 
and other types of rock as well. And I actually got a couple of these carvings in the house. Maybe I'll show those as well. Very talented fellow. You know, he runs husky dogs. He's out hunting and all that kind of good stuff on the land all the time and and whatnot. And uh, actually, I got some old footage. I should try to find that and put this in the video. Uh, I was in Hopedale one time uh, to pick up the brother in laws polar bear that, that uh, Ross cleaned for him. And uh, I think William got up in the, in the kayak and stuff like that and whatnot. So if I, if I could find it, I got it somewhere on one of my hard drives. If I find it, I'll add it to this uh, video. And I just wanted to, yeah, I gotta tweak the name a little more. Just wanted to, to show this. Well guys, uh, two things uh, before I go is, uh, you know, when I was tweaking in the drum, I was using my hands, you know, just to, to hold the fabric to tweaking it that way. But thanks to the wife, uh, she told me, you know, you use a, uh, your stick uh, that you beat the drum with. And you just gets a better, uh, better leverage and you're tweaking, uh, you're tweaking in this way. Oh shit, string come off. I'm gonna howl too hard. Now we got it done. Alrighty. There's a groove that goes around the edge of the drum that uh, this string goes in, and I kind of howl a little too hard and come out of the groove. But I got it put back in place there now, and so I'm gonna just gently uh, tighten the drum in and go all the way, work my way around the drum bit by bit. And I'll just hit in there now, be slack. I'm doing the same thing I done with my uh, hands yesterday, but just a little easier using the using the stick. And I'm just watching the string, make sure I don't hollow it over the drum again. Oh yeah, here. So I just wanted to show, you know, it's easier to, to tweak your drum this way. And like I said earlier, the wife actually told me about this. So. just wanted to mention that and uh, as well I uh, want to int uh, introduce you to uh, a YouTube channel and this is Jason uh, Linstead's channel Jason's Northern Outdoors Outdoor Adventures and uh, yeah so he's from the big land here as well and you know he's, uh, he's kind of a rambunctious <laughs> hyper fellow yeah he's a you know does a lot of outdoorsy stuff so uh, I got a feeling uh, a lot of you out there probably like his channel as well, so you can check it out anyway. And you can see hot tent ice fishing, wall game, sausage giveaway, ice fishing trip to Goose Bay, <coughs> Scandic Super uh, Wide Track 900 Days uh, trip to the cabin, emergency first aid starter, exciting bird hunt. So, so yeah, just thought I uh, introduce you to that channel if you're not already familiar with it. 
Uh, but I guess that's it for this one, though, guys. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, really appreciate y'all watching. Take care. All the best from the big land.